Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Luke Ness Monster, and this weekend is actually New York Comic Con. And so Hasbro is actually supposed to be having a booth there where they're going to be revealing a ton of Black Series products. So in this video, we're going to be going over all of my predictions for what I think we're going to be getting at New York Comic Con. Really quick though, we're actually giving away this Black Series Clone 2-pack at 15,000 subscribers. So if you want a chance to enter, you do have to be subbed to the channel. So make sure to get down, hit that like button, subscribe. And then once we actually do it at 15k, we'll do a giveaway video. And all you have to do is comment on that giveaway video to enter. So first up, we're going to be looking at some of the pipeline reveals we've already gotten for the Black Series line, because I think these are going to be the most likely figures to be revealed at New York Comic Con. So first up, we do have Kilnaka from the Acolyte. After that, we do have Moff Gideon in his Dark Trooper armor, followed by the Praetorian Guard, also from Mando Season 3. Then, of course, we do have Anakin in his Clone Wars Ahsoka flashback outfit, as well as Phase 1 Rex in his Clone Wars Ahsoka flashback outfit. And honestly, all of these I'm pretty excited for. Kilnaka is going to be a like Jedi Wookiee, and so that one's probably going to end up being a new mold, and I think that one will come out really well. Both Moff Gideon and the Praetorian Guard have been one of my like top 10 most wanted figures ever since Mando Season 3 came out, so cannot wait for them. And then, of course, I love the Ahsoka show, and especially the flashback scenes, so a Phase 1 Rex is long, long awaited in the line. And, of course, a brand new version of that Clone Wars Anakin is definitely needed because that old version, it's a little outdated. And, of course, it would be nice to just get like an accurate live-action representation of that character in the line. Next up, we actually do have a full Skeleton Crew wave that is rumored here from Yak Face, uh, and apparently this wave is supposed to be releasing in like November, December, right alongside the show, and we've already seen quite a few of these figures already leaked, which means that they are right around the corner, we just haven't seen any of the actual figures revealed yet. And because of that, with the show coming out very, very soon, and some of the figures already being found overseas, this wave has got to be announced here very, very soon, and I think something like a New York Comic Con is a perfect place to announce a wave like this. And so because of that, I do think a full Skeleton Crew wave here uh, is definitely on the, the higher end of the list for what we should expect at New York Comic Con. Next up, I think Savage Press is another one that we could expect to see here at New York Comic Con. He's been rumored for quite a while now, and we've already seen leaked photos of the figure. As well as Yak Face in the Out of the Basement Discord also pretty much confirmed that he's going to be coming out during the month of October. So that basically means he's going to be revealed at New York Comic Con or at Hasbro's 1027 event, which is their like premium member exclusive live stream. And so uh, we're going to be getting him at one or the other. We don't know which one yet, so... But I do think either one has a pretty good chance of getting him revealed, so stay tuned for that one because it's definitely coming this month. Next up, we also do have three uh, figures from Shadows of the Empire, which have pretty much already been confirmed because Amazon actually leaked it, and that is a Dash Rendar and then a Luke and a Leia from Shadows of the Empire. All three of these are pretty exciting. I know a lot of people are huge Shadow of the Empire fans, and so getting some more of those figures, especially like a Dash Rendar, is going to be huge for the line, and I think this is something we could see at New York Comic Con. There's also two figures from Andor Season 2 that are being rumored right now, being a Range Trooper, which originally showed up in Solo here, as well as Director Krennic. We've already seen some leaked photos of Director Krennic, so pretty excited for both of these ones, and I'm excited to see how they play a part in Andor Season 2. So these ones definitely have a chance of being revealed at uh, New York Comic Con, but with Andor Season 2 being a little ways away, I'm not necessarily sure that these are going to be like top of the list at New York Comic Con. One of the big ones is a brand new Anakin and Obi-Wan from Revenge of the Sith. These ones have been rumored for quite a while now, almost close to a year if I am correct, but they've been rumored and thrown around for a while and we haven't really seen anything official on them yet. Uh, my best prediction is that they're going to be coming out in 2025 for the 20th anniversary of Revenge of the Sith, and so we'll have to wait and see. I do think a pretty big event like New York Comic Con would be a great place to reveal a uh, pretty popular item like this, especially for most of the items going to be announced here are going to be released in 2025, so this seems like a pretty solid place for uh, Anakin and Obi-Wan to be revealed, but I also could say the same thing for an event like 1027. So either way, I do think we're going to be getting these figures announced here very, very soon. I just think it comes down to when. But there's also four Revenge of the Sith figures labeled uh, under Yak Face's rumor list. We don't know what they are, so this Anakin and Obi-Wan could be under these two but uh, I would imagine that they would be named Anakin and Obi-Wan rather than just Revenge of the Sith. So at this point, it's hard to say. These might be four separate Revenge of the Sith figures we could be expecting pretty soon. But at this point, it is really, really hard to say. So as soon as we find out some more information, I'll let you guys know. 
There's also been the rumor that we're going to be getting an Ezra disguise figure pretty soon, just because of the Night Trooper that we did get. The, like, red wrappings match Ezra's design perfectly, and so they'd pretty much just make a new helmet and throw the Ezra head sculpt on top. This makes perfect sense for me, and I could definitely see them doing this, so this one is definitely uh, pretty high up on, I think, my New York Comic Con, uh, like, prediction list as well. Another one coming from the Out of the Basement Discord, so make sure to go check out Out of the Basement and their Discord, both will be linked in the description, but Yak Face also said that both A New Hope, Han, and Chewie will be getting a remake coming to the Black Series, just like Luke and Leia did. This makes sense, I know Hasbro's pushing their return to Tatooine for Vintage Collection pretty hard, and it seems like they're doing the same for the Black Series, and so uh, something like that seems like a great thing to be revealed. Uh, if it's not revealed, I do expect them to be pipelined at New York Comic Con, so we'll have to wait and see, but I do think that a new Han and Chewie are definitely on the way, and I think they'll be a little bit closer to being released than we might expect. So yeah, those are my predictions for New York Comic Con this weekend, which is Saturday the 19th, I believe, so make sure to stay tuned for that. I do believe that the brand new Commander Cody is supposed to be releasing on the 18th, if I remember correctly, so stay tuned for that news video as well, because as soon as that's revealed, I'll make a video talking about it, and if it's not revealed on the 18th, it'll probably be revealed at New York Comic Con, so either way, stay tuned, because I'm going to be making news videos all weekend when stuff is getting revealed, but that's going to do it for the video, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.